Hello, or Kedu and Evo. Welcome to the Agent of Hope. Here in the Agent of Hope, we're trying to support others that are trying to make an impact on the world. Today, we're going to discuss finding a solution on turning ideas into action. In order for us to help you guys go from ideas to actions, in today's episode, we want to share with you five tips to organize your plan so you can go from ideas to action in a very structured way. So the first tip in order for you to start going from ideas to action is to identify a problem that you would like to help solve within the community. Now, when you find something within your community that you want to help solve, it's going to give you the advantage of thinking about a possible solution for a real problem. That means that you're not going to be trying to solve something, but you're going to be thinking about a very specific issue and the actions connected to it. Brainstorming potential solutions to, uh, to identify any problems that might arise or problems that you want to be able to solve is also a very good way of going about taking ways of achieving action. Because if you are able to look at something that you put from pen to the paper and you can visualize it, then you know ways that you can be able to correct the problem or be of help in correcting that problem. That leads us to the third tip of today, and that is to create a list of resources that are needed to make each potential solution a reality. After you create the list of resources needed to make each potential solution a reality, you can also create a potential schedule for project completion. Now, let's say solution A takes you five months to complete from going from the idea that you had for that solution to the completion of it reaching the community. Now, solution B takes you three months, but it's not as effective as solution A. So now you try to find a way of how you can accomplish more in a smaller amount of time. And that leads us to option C. And in option C, you're able to impact the same amount of people or in the same level within the community, but in the same amount of time that option B does. Solution A took you six months to complete. Solution B takes you three months to complete, but it's not as impactful. And now solution C gives you the chance of impacting the same amount of people or generate the same level of impact within three months. So from the three potential solutions, you now have one that works better to provide a solution to the community. After you create a potential schedule for the project completion, you can start thinking about ideal people that could help you make that solution a reality and can help you plan and organize the resources that you have already identified. Well, you know, I agree with that because When you have people that are going to be able to, to help you implement more on your strategy, that's going to give you leeway in case you run into, you know, a roadblock because everything is not going to go smoothly. So to help you transition into making your ideas into action, you're going to need good people behind you because everything won't go according to plan all the time. And when things do slip, you need people to be there to help you pick up and motivate you and continue with that action because that action that you're trying that idea that you're trying to turn into an action can be very helpful for not only yourself and those group of people that are help working with you but those people that you're trying to make that action helpful for always keep pushing forward no matter the obstacle that it, that is ahead of you now that you've collected a list of resources It's time to make a list of skills that you might or might not have. That way you can find people that can be able to fill in those skill gaps that you're lacking. Because when they're able to help you fulfill something that you're not able to do, then you'll be able to move forward and get things done. Now that you have identified the problem, identified potential solution, created a list of resources and the type of people that you know are going to support your efforts, it's time to create a project schedule. Now. We have already a preliminary project schedule from when we were brainstorming potential solutions. But now it's time to create a schedule that includes making the outreach efforts to potential partners, team members, donors, if any, and promotional campaigns. 
this schedule is the one that is gonna have the specific days and specific dates by when you want to complete your project and have it impacting your community. So in order for this to become a reality, you have to have made already a really good job of identifying potential team members, identifying correctly the resources that you need, and even though that you're going to be able to create a majestic schedule with all of the project components, always be open to change. If we set up some time aside to potential setbacks, we are going to be well on our way to make our idea into a viable action to take and a possible solution to solve the issue identified in the community. And this is a perfect time to ask, what kind of impact are you trying to make? Leave a comment down below so we can see if there's any way that we can help you in being an agent of hope. So now that you know those five tips, you're ready to go from ideas to action. action. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Agent of Hope. But before we go, we want to highlight the comment from our last episode of self-love. Thank you to Mary Mary for sharing with us what self-love means to her. Leave your comments below so you might be featured in our next episode. If you liked today's episode, leave a thumbs up in the comments. But also, please continue to support us by liking, sharing, subscribing, and turning on the notification bell. All these things help us be able to spread our message of hope. Thank you, Ordalo and Evo. Live long and prosper.